what we have coming up in the workshop will be absolute torture. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. We are going to finish up working on our torture chamber. As you can see, I've kind of placed things as torture chamber-ish as I can. You know, we have the skeleton. Here, hold on, put that aside. We have the skeleton, you know, inside the coffin. We have the, the sarcophagus, which is probably what we're going to work on today, as well as the Iron Maiden top. And that's pretty much going to be it. I mean, we also have the mummy. A little bit of work to do on her, him, whatever. Uh, but mostly, I think it's going to be those two. So, let's get cracking. Let's do it. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to take just a... The Shopti skull, or Shopti bone, Shopti. What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Bone. Of course. Chicken meat. Chicken, chicken, chicken. There we are. Now the Shopti bone. It's going to be both for the skeleton and the mummy. And we are just going to give a, give them a super light dry brush. We want almost no color. It's just a touch of a highlight. Nothing, nothing horrible. I help kind of pick out that's a little too much. Help give it a little bit of dynamicism. There we go. Again, we're just going to give it a little tap. A little tap of color. Skeleton. Same thing. Not much. The way it colors a little bit of a highlight. To show that it's, you know, a little aged. A little leached. There we are. That's really it for those guys. But we're going to keep the Ashopti bone on hand because we're going to need a little bit later on. So now what we're going to do hmm. 
look at how ratty my brushes are. I'm kidding. Well, they are ratty, but those are part some of the, some of the most ratty brushes are the most perfect for dry brushes. So even though your brushes might look like they might be at the end of their life, don't discount them. Now, for instance, this guy right here. He's got not much life left in him. But I have a purpose for him. It's one of my older Citadel brushes too. So again, we're going to oh, I put this Andrew dust back. Now what we are going to do is we're going to give the sarcophagus a little bit of color. Just a little bit. That I want to use so tech green. And we are going to need a relatively fine brush for this. What we're going to do is we're going to start with with the crown. And actually, if you find that the gold or that the that the blue doesn't quite get everything, that's perfect. There we go. Put a little bit of blue right there. And again, if the blue doesn't quite cover everything, that's okay. Because maybe the blue's flecked off a little bit and, you know, revealing the gold underneath. All right. 
We're not going to do much on it. We're just going to kind of give it a bit of a look. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that old beat up brush. Yeah. That one right there. It's nice. It's beat up. Still has a life. Take the Zandri dust again. Give it a quick shake. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of stub all the sides. We're going to stub parts of it. You know, where even the gold was flaked off. And you don't have to go crazy with this. You know, just a few spots. Concentrating on where the lid might be. Or, you know, where the lid is going to connect. Yeah, just a little bit, not too, too much. Wash that old coot of brush. Put them back in your arsenal until next time. Egg rack crochet, that's not the one I want, though. I want my other one. Which looks like it's out here. I'm just not seeing it at the moment. There it is. The Sarah from Sepia. What we're going to do is we're just going to give kind of a whole shebang a wash. Starting with the sarcophagus top. Now it also makes the, the gold a little richer. Move that off to the side. Now we're going to do kind of the bottom half of the sarcophagus.
And again, if you find that it's too much, move, move the shade around. you're relatively happy with it. Nope. So while we let those dry, we're going to move on to the Iron Maiden. Now this one's going to be fun. I mean, as much as I've been looking to, looking forward to the sarcophagus. You can see it right there, it looks all nice and pretty. This. That one right there. We're going to have a little bit of fun with it. We're going to take my Iron Warriors. And we are going to take Lead Belcher. And I think that's about where we're going to stay. So for right now, we are going to move start with the darker, with the Iron Warriors. Now remember, I'm not doing these up to win any competitions or anything like that. I'm just painting them so that they look good on the table. There are many, many different layers, levels and layers, but levels of painting. There's your character level, which means that you you go all out and try and make it look as nice as you possibly can. And then there's kind of the next, you know, kind of the next level down where it still looks real good, but you're not going to put as much time into it. And then it goes right down to, basically it goes right down to what they call speed painting, where you try and get as many and as much done as you can, as quick as you can. You do the bare bones basics. It's kind of what I'm doing here, but I am taking a little bit more time. So look good. Still looks good. Still awesome to have on the tabletop. But not quite the effort that you would put in if you were doing it to, you know, to win competitions or whatever. Let's put you back in your home. Kind of put you there.
or using a slightly brighter metal on the uh, on the detail of the, the Iron Maiden. Help it stand out. I think it's going to look awesome. I think it's going to look amazing. It's nice and slick. It's, like, it's going to look great on your table. Now I'm kind of going to do the same thing on the wire, on the cage. Slightly passing the brush over. I'm trying to get those gorgeous details. Now it's got studding all over it, and I'm going to use this brighter, the brighter metal, metal the lead belcher. Just going to try and tap the top. are. Now of course we have the inside. We have all the little spikes. And the spikes. It's going to run a light. Light brush of silver. Down them. I'll pick them up. And now we have our uh, our Iron Maiden door. So you can have that instead of the sarcophagus top. Now going back to the mummy, they're going to try and give him some emaciated skin. So we're going to start off with color called Skaven, Dyke Bl Skaven Blight Dinge. Oh. 
and we're going to go to a slightly finer brush. Going to go to the detail brush. We're going to pick out his hand. And the face. And the other hand. There we are. Decrepit bummy. But he's going to have the tiniest of highlights. Because helps see the little bit of detail that we have there. I'm going to go to the rust gray, which again is going to be just ever so tiny. Just enough to kind of pick them out. There we are. Stupid camera, you had it for a second. There you go. There you are. And the mummy is pretty much ready to sit in his crypt. Now the last thing we're going to do is we'll take a little... What's this? We're going to take a little bit of that gold that we did before. You can see it's hold it right down. Just take a touch of that gold. And wipe most of it off. We're just going to hit. And it fell. Mm. 
There we are. To bring some of that brilliance back that we had before. So this is pretty much, pretty much it. All right, guys. There it is. So I know we've gone a little bit long today. Well, okay, not really, but. And as you can see, with just a little bit of work, not too terribly much, but just a little bit of work, we can make some fantastic looking terrain. Or at least I think so. And, you know, we have a nice little torture chamber to go with any, to go, to go with whatever you, whatever you do. If you've got a D&D &D game, this will fit perfectly. If you've got, you know, a uh, science fiction game, maybe you have a, like, an antiquities kind of thing, kind of like, you know, demolition mat or something. But, all in all, it's a fantastic little set. Uh, again, these are from Mantic, Mantic Games. This is their uh, terrain crate set, torture chamber set, and you get double what you see here, which is very cool. Oh, you only get one of the cages, but you get double double everything else, which is very cool, very very good, and for you know not too terrible too terrible of a price. Um, they also have a sci-fi uh, sci-fi line as well as their their fantasy line, uh, but everything here looks great, and they're really easy to paint up, really fast to paint up. Um, I I've, I've enjoyed enjoyed these quite quite well, um, or quite quite a lot actually. I, I've, I've really really enjoyed these. They were they were fun. Uh, of course, you can go in and make whatever whatever you want. If you want to take a lot of time and spend a lot of time on them, there's nothing to say you can't. Uh, but, hey, my name is James. I'm the Paint Slinger. And until next time, paint safe, and we'll see you in the workshop. Mm -hmm.